wanna enter the building. For this style, I'm beginning with stretched and thoroughly detangled hair and I've created a part just around the area of my ears. It's very uneven, just bear with me. And I'm using the Aloe Oil Moisture Renewal Leave-In and I'm going to concentrate this in the area of my ends to make sure they're moisturized and nourished. And with the Wild Growth Hair Oil, I'm going to apply this in the area of my parting space and massage this into the scalp. I really want to protect my hair. And I'm going in with the Dry Look Gel Activator along with the Got To Be Ultra Glued and just slicking my hair down with a soft bristle brush to create a very polished finish. With an ouchless scrunchie, I am going to contain the section and gather it as best as possible. I want this to actually be neat given my parting space is struggling, it's in shambles. I just can't part. And I'm just going to twist the hair down to the very ends. I like to do this to keep my hair elongated so it doesn't revert. I'm going to repeat the exact same thing for the second section. And I must say my hair is thriving right now. I don't know what's going on. Look at the hang time. Wait until I get some more length. Y'all won't be able to tell me anything. Now I wanted to slick the hair down, make sure it's super sleek, so I'm going to set this with a satin scarf for about 15 to 20 minutes. And afterwards, I'm going to take the ends of the first section and use a rubber band to integrate it into the second section. And then I will begin to twist the ends of the second section downward and connect it with the third and final section. And for the twist at the nape, I'm going to wrap it around itself to create a very small bun and you all will see why. And this is the foundation of our style, absolutely braidless, so let's get into it. I'm using the Free Tress Fluffy Wand Curl in the color number 4, Super Lustrous Curls, along with the color OT30, Beautiful Ombre and OT27. Let's get into this ombre trend. So I'm starting at the third and final section towards the nape and I'm starting underneath the bun that we've created and I'm just going to crochet the hair as normal. I have not separated the hair or cut it. I'm leaving it at its full length and full thickness or density. And I'm really going to use the color number four and concentrate it solely in the hair within the third section. I'm not going to crochet it any further beyond that part that we created. Once I'm near the parting space, I'm just going to begin separating the hair about two times. I just wanted to create a little bit more volume and I'm going to grab the very ends of the curls and use a rubber band to contain it because it's going to help me in pulling and creating this bun shape. So I'm gonna pull it upward towards the second section and pin it in place on both sides. I would say about two to four bobby pins just to keep it you know, very secure. And for the second section, I am going to begin crocheting in the OT30. Again, I have not cut the hair. I have not separated it. It's very thick. I suggest using one to two knots to secure it in place. You can begin crocheting just before the very ends of the curls of the color number four. So that it has a smooth transition. And I'm just going to bring this upward towards the very first section and then I'm going to begin integrating the OT27 strategically. I didn't want the color to be too overwhelming. I will say that the color OT30 is slightly skewed. It's a bit different from the vibrancy I was expecting, but I'm working with it. And I'm just going to go just before the front edge of my perimeter hairline and now I'm just surveying the curls and I'm going to go in and begin piecing them apart. I suggest separating the curls 
two to three times this hair gets very fluffy as the name suggests so be careful if you are not one for volume it has a beautiful definition by itself but I have to you know I want to get that huge look so I'm going in to trim up the hair around the area of my face I like to create a V shape because I love when it tapers around my face and I'm using bobby pins on either side and I'm being very strategic about where I place them because I don't want them to show but I really want it to help create a more voluminous looking mohawk I wanted to add a little bit of hair just above our bun. I cut the OT30 in half and I separated the curls slightly and I began crocheting it just so I can create some volume in that area. I felt like I was kind of lacking. So to compensate, I just cut the hair in half, crocheted it and you know, cut it down to the appropriate length. And girl, I am in love with this. This is very different. I love the color spectrum. get into this nighttime routine guys it's super simple you just want to apply some water to your edges at night to soften the hold apply that hairnet wrap your edges with a satin scarf crazy simple and i love it how are you guys feeling about this look would you attempt it let me know in the comment section below be sure to check out more videos in my crochet ray playlist and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling the look and i will see you in the next one